Hello everyone. I've been getting a lot of emails and questions about the best way to help parents guide their children and for children to get started in using Google Classroom during this challenging time of online learning and distance learning. I want to take a couple minutes to offer that guidance and see if I can give some best practice, practices to help our, our students succeed at home. First, you'll notice here I'm at the Google homepage. Uh, I am using the Chrome browser. My first bit of guidance would be to make sure that you use the Chrome sign-in on the Chrome toolbar here and add your school-issued account in this sign-in drop-down menu. Notice I'm signed in here as well, but this is just my Google sign-in. By making sure I'm signed into the Chrome browser right here, that will make sure that all the services and options that the school has set for you to be successful will be available. So definitely make sure you sign in at this level. Second, I can always get to Google Classroom by using my Google Apps launcher right here. Sometimes we commonly refer to this as the Apps, or excuse me, the Waffle menu. But if I drop my Apps menu, I can go right to Google Classroom and it will launch for me. Now there's two ways that you can join a Google Classroom. One, if the teacher has invited you, once you land here and you're signed in, you will see that you have been invited and you can just simply join that class. Alternatively, teachers may have given you a class code. And if I come to this plus sign right here, I could click plus, enter my class code, and join the class. Two different ways, both will get you enrolled. Because I've been invited to this test class, I'm just going to choose join. And just like that, I am a member of this classroom. In a moment, I'm going to land inside the classroom, as you can see here on the stream tab. I like to think of the stream tab as my latest and greatest, almost like a news feed or a social media feed, but specific to your Google Classroom and things that the teacher or teachers have posted, assigned, or questions that they've asked. Anything that they offer to the class would be available here. Each of these are clickable so that I can enter into each of these projects from the stream. But in a moment, we'll take a look at the classwork tab up top here to look at other ways that you can see your classwork. Uh, maybe a little bit more organized fashion, but you certainly can come in here, say, click on this option, and I will see that this question has been asked by my teacher, and I can start to answer this question if I, if I want to, and I would choose turn in over here on the right after I type in my answer. Um, once I am done, and I've chosen turn in, I can come back, and I can move on and progress through the rest of my work. You'll notice on the left-hand side, there's this work due or upcoming work uh, panel for this classroom. Anything that's been posted with the due date will have a listing on this left-hand side so that you can navigate a quick view of upcoming assignments. Uh, at any point in Google Classroom, if you want to see the full classroom menu, or if you're a student in upper elementary, middle school, or in uh, secondary, any level secondary, you can come to your menu over here, make this selection, and this will give you the ability to go ahead and change your classes and see what else is available. Also gives me a nice calendar option that lets me look over what may be due in the coming days or weeks, specifically in Google Classroom. If I enter this calendar menu, oh, by the way, each of these postings are clickable, so you can direct your child or uh, you can click right on this to get to your assignment. If I want to leave my calendar and go back to my classroom, I simply come back to this three-bar menu and come to my classroom where I will land on the stream again. Moving forward, if I click Classwork right here, this will show me uh, a way to look at all of my work, and some of it may be categorized by your teacher in topics. You'll notice here that this teacher is creating a math topic with math assignments listed under this, writing topics, with writing assignments listed under there. I also can quickly navigate through all of my topics or subjects on the left-hand side here. If I only wanted to see writing assignments, I can click right here and reveal just the writing assignments that are currently uh, assigned to me and available to access. I'm gonna stop it here and I'll come back with a follow-up to continue this conversation in a few moments. Stay tuned.